In our last segment, we discussed the symptoms and disorders of the digestive system. We also discussed the process of digestion, absorption, and excretion. Now I would like to discuss some of the tips on healing the problems that can arise within the gastrointestinal system. These tips I call the four R's of intestinal healing. These four R's are replace, re-inoculate, repair, and remove. Now let me go into each of these individually and explain how they work. The first one, replace, means that we're going to replace the digestive enzymes. If you remember, we talked about how important digestive enzymes were in breaking down the food materials into smaller particles for absorption and utilization of our bodies. There are certain things that can interfere with these digestive enzymes, and even as we age, we produce less of these enzymes. So it's important to help your body out by replacing these digestive enzymes using a digestive supplement. These supplements may contain some enzymes such as amylase to help digest carbohydrates, protease for proteins, and lipase for fats. They may also contain some hydrochloric acid and even some bile salts. All of these help in the digestive process, breaking down the foods into smaller particles for digestion. Most people who are experiencing any type of gastrointestinal problem need to start by replacing the digestive enzymes. The second R of intestinal healing is to re-inoculate. What are we re-inoculating? The good bacteria we spoke about. So we want to re-inoculate the probiotics. As we discussed before, these probiotics are essential in helping balance the pH of the intestinal system. They help with the immune function, and they also help to further break down some of the food. When our systems become unbalanced through changes in pH, through altered production of the digestive enzymes, which we mentioned earlier, through the use of certain medications, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, um, antibiotics, birth control pills. These can all can have an effect on these good bacteria. They will kill these bacteria off and allow the yeast or the candida in the gastrointestinal system to proliferate and take over the intestines. So we need to give the body a chance to build these good bacteria back up by re-inoculating these probiotics into our system. So again, taking a good supplement that contains the right amounts and the proper types of probiotics is essential to re-inoculate these organisms into our system. The third R that we discussed was to repair the leakiness. And what type of leakiness am I talking about? Well, you may have heard the term leaky gut syndrome before. This is caused by inflammation within the intestinal tract itself. This inflammation brings more blood into the linings of the wall of the intestinal tract and allows material to seep out that otherwise would be blocked. That's why they call it leaky gut syndrome. So any type of inflammation within the gastrointestinal tract must be soothed or calmed down so that the absorption of the proper nutrients can take place and the leakiness of some of the toxins that are entering into our system can be stopped. There's a lot of good products that can help to heal this leakiness. Some of my favorites are nutrients such as L-glutamine. We can also use licorice root extract, aloe vera, slippery elm, and even marshmallow root. All of these are important in helping to heal the inflammation and to heal the lining of the intestinal tract. I like to use combination products that will use many of these different things, put them all in one product for you to take either in a capsule or in a powdered form which can be mixed up and drank. The final R of intestinal healing that I'd like to discuss is to remove. We want to remove any irritants to the lining of the intestinal tract. Now what are these irritants? Some of these may be foods. We may have certain food allergies or food sensitivities that can create inflammation within the gastrointestinal tract. So we can utilize a program called an elimination diet that removes the majority of the most common food allergens or sensitivities from the diet for over a period of three to four weeks. And then we slowly reintroduce these foods to see how your body responds to those. Other things that we can do are food allergy testing or food sensitivity testing. Talk to your doctor about these testings as they may be very important in helping to remove some of these irritants from your system. There's one other irritant that I'd like to talk about. And that irritant is irritation of the spine. If we have misalignments within the vertebrae that are irritating a nerve, we call these subluxations, 
These can decrease the impulses from the brain to the body and from the body back to the brain. What if one of these vertebrae that are out of place are putting pressure on the nerve that goes to the stomach, or the small intestine, or the large intestine? It can interfere with the digestive process and create a majority of problems for us. And so we need to make sure that we're seeing our chiropractor regularly and getting adjusted, especially if you're having problems within the gastrointestinal tract. We'll look at those regions, correct those misalignments, take the pressure off the nerve, and allow not only the stomach and the intestines, but all of your body to function at 100% of its integrity. I hope you're able to use these four R's of intestinal healing to help you recover and repair your gastrointestinal system. Please take the time to talk to your doctor about these four R's, incorporate them into your lifestyle, and help to rebuild and maintain intestinal health. Thank you.